Hi, boys and girls. Welcome to our story time today. I'm Miss Sharon, and I'm one of the teachers at Parks Church Little Lambs Classroom. And I'm so glad that you're tuning in today to, to hear another wonderful story. And so I hope you're at home and you found a comfortable place, maybe with a blanket like I have down here, or a comfortable spot where you can sit to listen to today's story. And we have a special guest that joined us. As always in our classroom, Willie the Wooly has joined us. And here's, here he is. Hmm. I'm noticing something about him today. He has a coat on and it looks like it's with many colors. Huh. I wonder if that's going to have something to do with our story. We'll have to see. But I'm going to give him a quick squeeze and say hello. And I hope you all will be able to give him a squeeze again sometime soon. He is going to sit here and listen to our story for today. Well, let's get our hearts and our minds and our bodies ready for today's story. And we do that by singing a few songs. Here we go. Open them, close them. Open them, close them. Give a little clap. Open them, close them. Open them, close them. Fold them in your lap. All right. Shh. It's time to hear God's story. And we go into our box to find God's story. Oh, I found something. The Bible. The Bible is the place where we hear about God's word and hear the stories and the wonderful things that God did. So let's open up. We've got our red bookmarker here. Let's open up and see what we have today. It's from 1st Peter chapter 5. It said, cast all of your worries on him, for he cares about you. Hmm. I wonder what our story will be today. Let's find out. Joseph. This is Joseph. You know what? He had 10 brothers. Can you help me at home? Can you count them with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So Joseph had ten brothers. Joseph's father loved him the most, and he gave him a beautiful coat of many colors. Hmm. I wonder, what colors do you see on this coat? I see, I see yellow. I see red and green and orange and even purple. This coat is full of many, many colors. You know what? Joseph's father didn't give his brothers a coat or anything special. And this made them feel very unhappy. One day, Joseph's father sent him out to the field where his brothers were tending to the sheep. And when the brothers saw Joseph coming, they all said, let's get rid of him. And so they sold Joseph to some people from Egypt. Before they sold Joseph off, they took 
his coat of many colors for themselves. So Joseph was taken away. And when he was in Egypt, he was sad and lonely. But God was with him. God took care of Joseph. God sent the king, the king of Egypt, to Joseph. And Joseph helped the king. So one day, the king, he gave Joseph a very important job. And he gave him a special robe, this purple robe to wear. Now God took care of Joseph and God takes care of you too. That ends our story for today of Joseph and the coat of many colors. I wonder, I wonder a lot of things. I wonder how he felt and how the brothers felt. I wonder what the coat felt like. Was it warm or soft? I wonder, do you wonder anything at home after hearing today's story? Maybe you do. If you will join me in prayer, Hold your hands and close your eyes. Dear God, thank you for helping Joseph. And thank you for helping each and every one of us that are here today. We love you. Amen. Well, now that we've heard a story, a wonderful story from God's Bible, I'm wondering if you might have a little bit of time to go off and do something to kind of remind you of the story. So I'm gonna give you a couple suggestions, some ideas of what you might be able to do. If you have Play-Doh at home, grab a couple different colors and lay them out next to each other and try to build or make a coat of many colors. Maybe you wanna grab a piece of paper and some crayons or a markers and color a picture of Joseph and add lots and lots of colors. Remember we said red and blue and yellow, and pink, green, right? Have a picture with beautiful, bright colors. Or maybe you wanna go in your closet and take a peek around and see if maybe you have a shirt or a coat that is full of different colors. And maybe you wanna wear that shirt for the rest of the day to help remind you of our story that we heard today. Those are just some ideas. I hope you try one of them. The last thing I want to do this morning is to share the story with you. It's called Joseph and his brothers. So let's read and hear about the story. There was a man named Jacob who lived in Canaan. Jacob had 12 sons and loved them all, but he loved his son Joseph most of all. Joseph's brothers were jealous of him. Jacob decided to give Joseph a very special gift. Jacob made him a beautiful coat. It was decorated with many colors. Joseph loved his new coat. He put it on and showed it to his brothers. This made them very angry because they did not get a new coat. Remember how this happened in our story? One night, Joseph had a dream. He and his brothers were gathering stalks of grain. The grain belonged to Joseph. It stood up. His brother's stalks of grain bowed down to his grain. Joseph told his brothers about the dream. This made them angry too. They thought Joseph wanted them 
to bow down to him. Later, Joseph went to the fields to see his brothers. They were tending to the family sheep. His brothers grabbed him and threw him into a dry well. Then some traders came by. The brothers had an idea. They sold Joseph to the traders for 12 pieces, 20 pieces of silver. The traders took Joseph to Egypt. Do you see him there? There he goes. Then the brothers came home from the fields. They told their father that Joseph had died. Their father was very sad. He cried. Joseph was sent to jail when he went to Egypt. But God did not forget Joseph. God gave Joseph a special gift. Joseph could tell people what their dreams meant. One night, the king had a dream. He called for Joseph. He told Joseph that seven skinny ears of corn ate seven big ears of corn. Then said seven skinny cows swallowed seven fat cows. Joseph said, God has told me what your dreams mean. They will, will be seven years when we will have plenty of food. Then we will have seven years when no food can grow. Joseph told the king to store extra grain for the years when nothing would grow. The king thought this was a good plan. He gave Joseph the important job of making this plan work. Then the bad years came. Jacob sent his sons to Egypt to buy food. Joseph found his brothers and told them who he was. They were afraid of him. But Joseph forgave his brothers. Joseph knew God sent him to Egypt for an important job. His family moved to Egypt. They were all very happy to be with Joseph again. The end. Well, boys and girls, thank you for spending some time with me, hearing our story, praying together, and then reading our book. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.